Norway Heights man accused of shooting his wife and stepdaughter appeared in Spokane County Court today. Zion Carter was on the run for two days until he turned himself into the Pierce County Sheriff's Office last Thursday. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley spoke with him today at the Spokane County Jail. Zion Carter said he only agreed to speak with me in order to share his concerns with mental health resources, something he said was not made available to him and his wife when they sought this out. Today, he repeatedly apologized but would not say why he was apologizing. He also would not tell me whether he was guilty of shooting his wife and stepdaughter. What do you apologize for? At one time. I was the opposite of those who hurt her before the family, her, the kids. They loved me because I was different, because I treated them different. But now, I'm just like the ones who hurt before. Zion Carter says he does not remember what happened the night his wife and stepdaughter were shot. He also would not say why he left their home the night of the shooting. I went and got pizza. I went and got started a period that day. I went and got tampons. Were you I arguing? I don't know. After the shooting, Carter ended up in Tacoma. His family lives there, but he did not say if he saw them. Eventually, Carter turned himself in at the Pierce County Sheriff's Office. Two days, that's, that's a long time to be... Yeah. Gone. I just want to use you guys' this platform just to, to urge the public not to, to be so quick to judge. Carter previously served the last 22 years in prison. He says he married his wife about a month ago. He avoided answering whether he is guilty of the attempted murder charges against him. Instead, Carter told me he will get his day in court. Carter remains in Spokane County Jail tonight on a $1.5 million bond. Reporting from the Spokane County Courthouse, Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.